Hey guys, so here's a quick video about um, how to fix an air pressure gauge. You can, these are um, little tire pumps with gauges on them. This is one I just fixed, which I'll show you how to take apart and recalibrate. And here's another one I have laying around that's out of calibration. So the question is, how do you get something like this to read zero correctly and actually read air pressure that matches a proper tire pressure gauge. So, as you can see, the, the little air gun has a threaded um, fitting that the um, gauge fits into. You unscrew that with a, let's say a 9 16th wrench and then your gauge is in your hand ready to take apart. I took off this rubber um, boot and what you get is this gauge that's half taken apart right now but I'll show you in a minute. There's two screws on the back here um, that you take off and then this whole mechanism in here is loose. Then you have to take the bezel off and the, the front glass that the bezel is holding in. Um, this cheap gauge just has kind of like a pressure fit um, bezel with these little nubs going around the side. Um, I just took a flat, a, a thin flathead screwdriver to it and slowly pried up um, along the edge. As you can see, I, I kind of nicked the paint. That's not a big deal. It's going to be under the boot anyway. Um, so it's just a pressure fit with these little nubs holding the bezel on. So once you loosen that up, you take the bezel off. Just the bezel with the glass. And if you've taken your screws off, the mechanism of the gauge with the front uh, dial comes out. And voila, this is what the uh, inside of the gauge looks like. So what's going on here is, let me see if I can hold this with one hand properly. Um, as the air pressure increases inside the gauge, this thing expands, which I'll explain in a minute. There's, the, there's a little geared arm that moves in and out, and that will uh, move the dial on the front. So the trick here is this semicircular uh, thing here, which is a hollow copper pipe. And as air gets in here under pressure, the pipe tries to straighten out, um, moving this way, which moves the arm that way, which moves the dial on the front. So that's pretty simple. And I was scratching my head for a while trying to figure out how to get the dial to, to skip on the teeth of this um, kind of semicircular pawl thing, whatever you want to call it. Um, and there's, the mechanism actually, is actually pretty tight and there's no way to make that skip um, to bring the dial back to zero. So I was starting to bend this uh, hollow pipe and that just made the gauge get even further out of whack. So then I was like, shit, what do I do? And looking at the mechanism, I realized that there's this little U-shaped uh, uh, piece of copper here. And the purpose of that is actually for calibration. So as you close this U, it will increase the reading on the dial. And as you open up the U, the dial will come back closer to zero. 
So what I did is I took um, these clippers and um, pried on the inside of this U, which opens up the U. And that brought my needle back to zero. Now, if you open this too far, your needle will rest on, on the stop. And it'll actually be reading below the correct reading once it sees air pressure. So it's super finicky. Um, and you have to close it and then open it just enough or open it or yes, close it, which will um, bring the dial up above zero and then slowly open it with really gentle um, tugs with the plier, not really tugs, but squeezing on the plier, which gets the teeth of the plier in between inside the U shape and opens up the U. Um, and if you do that gently enough, you can get the dial um, right on the stop uh, without resting on the stop, but also not hovering above the stop. And then you take a, a known good air pressure gauge, you measure pressure in a tire, let's say, then mount this on the gun, and check the same tire to get a reading. And you slowly adjust that calibrating uh, piece, uh, depending on the reading, how well it matches with the real gauge. And that's about it. Um, then you just put this back in, something like that. You install the screws in the back, you install the bezel, and you're good to go. So good luck.